Welcome to Universe News on Universe TV, where we bring you stories that made headlines during the week. Coming up, Dean of Students at the University of Ghana hints of a stakeholders meeting to review academic and residential fees for the 2017-2018 academic year. Also, two arrested for defrauding prospective National Service personnel. We have details of these and more in a bit. Thank you for joining us for the coverage of news from the University of Ghana. My name is Setonam Atipo. Let's begin from the University of Ghana because the Dean of Student Affairs, Professor Francis Nunu, has revealed that the academic board of the university has scheduled a meeting to ratify the academic and residential fees for the 2017-2018 academic year. Management of the university on Tuesday released the schedule of fees, which was received by an outcry from the student body over what they described as the abnormal increase of their bill. Professor Nunu mentioned that the recently released school bill is merely a draft undergoing an academic approval. He assured that the student bill would be reviewed to amend any inconsistencies. The Dean of Students Affairs further stated that although the university's council is being reconstituted, it can review the school fees. Meanwhile, President of the Accra City Campus SRC, Nana Adodankwa Akufu Ado, has petitioned Parliament of Ghana to intervene in the matter as he calls for the reduction of the fees for the 2017-2018 academic year. Nana Ado called on all students to hold on to the payment of the fees for the academic year as his outfit will do everything possible to realize the reduction. In a related development, the SRC president, Daniel Oting Ewa, has disclosed that management has refused to approve a 50-50 payment plan for regular students. He, however, explained that the new payment modalities favor fee paying and across city campus students as a result of their high fees. Nonetheless, both regular and fee-paying students will enjoy a 50-50 payment plan for residential fees. Still on student fees and the SRC president of the Ghana Institute of Journalism, Martin Thomas Intim, has attributed the council's inability to draw a new schedule of fees to the non-existence of a governing council at the institute. This, according to him, has led management with no option but to settle on fees charged for last academic year. The president reiterated his outfit's commitment to ensure that the 2017-2018 fees are released with full components by submitting the proposal to the council when constituted. Moving on, barely six days after the deployment of about 91,000 fresh graduates to various institutions across the country to serve as national service personnel, it has emerged that two persons have been detained for attempting to swindle prospective personnel under the pretense of reposting them to their desired user agencies. Public Relations Officer of the National Service Scheme, Mr. Ambrose Intiwa, told Universe News that the scheme is aware of such illegal activities and has put in place measures to avert similar incidences. Mr. Intiwa also cautioned perpetrators to desist from the act or risk facing the full rigors of the law when apprehended. In other news, leader of the concerned LLB graduate, Godfrey Tesu, has expressed his displeasure about the Supreme Court's refusal to accept their petition of exempting them from writing their entrance exam. A group of law students calling themselves the concerned LLB graduates had gone to court to seek an injunction to stop the exam scheduled for July 14, 2017. However, a human rights division of the High Court dismissed an application seeking to stop the General Legal Counsel from organizing entrance exams and interviews for potential law students seeking to enter the Ghana School of Law. Godfrey Tesu explained that though he was disappointed with the ruling, his group was ready to comply with the court's decision. And finally, Head of Scientific Metrology at the Ghana Standard Authority, Paul Michael Date, has charged health practitioners to use calibrated medical equipment to enhance patient safety and quality healthcare delivery in the country. According to him, there is an urgent need for healthcare providers to ensure that all equipment are standardized to international specification to avert di wrong diagnosis. The meteorologists revealed that the GSA and the Ministry of Health are working on a policy that would compel all medical practitioners to periodically certify their medical equipment. Paul Datte made, the, made these remarks 
at the third West African Taiwan Health Conference organized by the Accra College of Medicine in collaboration with the Taichung Hospital Ministry of Health and Welfare. And that's it for this week's edition of Universe News on Universe TV. Many thanks for your company. My name is Setonam Atikoli.